Happy Saturday, all of my lovely people. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make an easy, quick burlap bow to add to your door hangers. Hope you're all having a fantastic Saturday so far. Um, so we painted this yesterday over on the page. Simple, easy, faux shiplap technique where you don't have to stress over everything being perfect on this one. And today we're going to be making the bow to just add all the goodness, goodness to it. Let me pull this up on here so I can be sure that we're good to go and we're all clear. So if you watched me the other day, you know I do use a Bodabra. Hey, Miss Grace. I do use a Bodabra to make all of my bows. And um, so, yep, yeah, that's what we're going to be making today, ladies. So as you hop on, y'all hit that little button down below and take me all around the Facebook world. I'm going to scoot y'all down and we're going to get started. All right. So we got our Bodabra. I'm going to go ahead and get my wire. I do use floral wire from Walmart. Um, you can use pipe cleaners. You can use zip ties. You can even use jute. But I mainly use the floral wire here. All right, so now that we've got that in our bow dabber, um, we're going to grab up our burlap. This is the six inch burlap. This is what we're going to use as the base. So I'm just going to kind of move that. Then I'm going to try to get the size that I want for this bow. So I think that's going to be a pretty good size there. We're going to cut that off. This is not wired. It's about the only thing that I have with, when it comes to ribbon that's not wired. Thank you, Miss Grace. All right, so what I'm going to do now is when you get your burlap, you're going to fold it in half. And I do like to overlap this middle, se middle section so it does not come, like, pull apart easy. So this is going to be the back of it. So we're just going to flip it over and see the front's real smooth and you don't see where it overlaps. So what I do with mine is I start in the middle and I fold it just like this. And then I just start creasing it. And I try to make sure that the, ends, the very ends of my ribbon or my burlap is folded down. Just gives it more of a finished look. So now we're going to take it and we're going to scoot it down into our Bodabra. This burlap's kind of thick, so you might have to kind of wiggle it in there. So if you have not joined my inside scoop, ladies, it's still open. And that's one reason I'm on here is to... Um, Fill you in and tell you all what goes on on the inside scoop. <coughs> My throat has been hurting like crazy this morning, y'all. All right, so what we're going to do now, I'm going to show you this one step, and then this is what we're going to continue doing with each one of these um, other ribbons. Uh, when I used to make girl hair, little girl hair bows, we used to call these bows kind of like the um, spike bows. Thank you, Michelle, for sprinkling. Good morning. And what that means is we just took strips and we stacked them on top of each other. And it just kind of, they just kind of look like little spikes, really. So I used to call them spike bows. I'm not sure what these bows are called in the door handle world. Um, but I still always just call them spike bows. So to start off with, I'm going to put my ribbon. This is the two and a half inch ribbon. It is wired. And I'm going to stick it on there and I'm going to try to get my length that I need this ribbon. I want it to be the same length as my burlap. Um, so I'm going to cut it like this. And it's about the same length as my burlap. Now, when we do the fishtail on this, then you're going to be able to still see that burlap from behind there. So now I'm just going to remove it. And I'm going to go and I'm going to get the rest of my ribbon. I'm going to make sure that I'm cutting the end straight because we are going to add a little bit of ducktail to this. And then that's, I'm just going to use that, you know, ribbon as my guide. Now, the design that this one's going on, ladies, it is, it is the faux shiplap. But, just in case you're just hopping on, this is what we're making a bow for. So, this is the, bow, the faux shiplap. It's different colors, multicolor. When there's no flowers on here. But that does not mean you cannot add floral, any kind of ribbon with some kind of flowers or florals on it. So I'm going to be adding this pretty ribbon. 
you go can y'all see the flowers i hope y'all can see the flowers on that it's showing up okay yeah my camera is kind of funky but um i'm gonna add that with that i do not have everything matchy matchy when it comes to my bows and my door handles um i try to match your colors up as good as possible but uh, everything don't have to be matching good morning miss sandy um hey kathy and welcome i'm glad that you're here miss kathy says she's new to my page y'all all give her a hello and a friendly welcome to be here on trinicular designs all right now with these spike bows y'all you can make these suckers as thick as you want however you want to do it so i keep a lot of my ribbon um the little strips because of these spike bows don't ever throw strips away when you've got long strips like this don't just throw them away because they are really good to use when you're making spike bows um so i'm just going to kind of go through it and see i do like that solid pink and we've got a solid purple um let's see what all else we got in here i do i'm going to use that one as well okay See those strips there? They did not go to waste. We are now using them. I'm going to use this one. We're just going to cut it. You can, like I said again, you can make these pieces as like full as you want. And if you've seen any of my bows um, on any of my old door hangers, you know that I kind of make the, um, the OTT bows. If you're not familiar with that term, that is the over-the-top bows. If you've got a little girl, I'm sure if you buy her bows and you've ordered them from someone, I'm sure you've heard of the over-the-top hair bows. We're going to add just a little bit of lavender in there just to kind of break it up. And I do like this one. And it's a darker pink, so it's going to kind of like bring that other lighter pink out. All right, so I think we got, let's add one more flower. We're going to add a little bit more of that flower. All right, ladies, we're going to, I do like to start with my wider ribbon. So I'm going to get all of my two and a half inch ribbon. We're going to go ahead and we're going to, is it called fishtail, y'all, or ducktail? I think I call them both. And I'm not sure exactly which one is, is exactly right. Is it ducktail or fishtail? Y'all let me know if you know. Thank you, Miss Sharon. How are you this morning, girlfriend? <clears throat> I'm so ready for my throat to act normal. It is about to drive me crazy. I don't think I sound funny on camera, or I may, I'm not sure, but um, when I talk, I feel like, like I sound funny to myself. I, like I sound awful to myself. Dove, dove, dove. I think I have heard somebody call it dove. Dovetail, okay. <laughs> Y'all been calling, I've been saying ducktail, like D-U-C-K, God knows, ducktail or duck or fishtail, so it is called dovetail, got y'all, Lord have mercy, my Aunt Linda would have a fit if she heard me call it dovetail, I meant ducktail, <laughs> all right, we're just continuously dovetailing our ribbon. I promise y'all I know what I'm doing. A lot of times I just don't know the technical or the correct words. Um, and a lot of times I make up my own words like duck, ducktail, or ducktail and ease. <laughs> um, hey, Christine, she sells the templates but not the blanks. Yeah, I do not sell the blanks. I'm sorry. But um, my inside scoop is open, y'all. It will be open up until the 1st. And let's go over a little bit on what you get when you join the inside scoop. I have 67 ladies on here and gentlemen, so I appreciate y'all being here on Saturday. I know you could be doing a whole lot of stuff. Um, so we're gonna start off with the two, two and a half inch ribbon, then we're gonna work our way up to the one and a half. But I do have some florals, y'all, I'm gonna also add in this bow. So I'm gonna go ahead, and I'm gonna um, break it up a little bit, cut it off. So the inside scoop, each month, we're gonna give you two printable templates and then you would get a tutorial from me on me showing you how to paint both of those templates 
Then we also do a craft each month. And you will get, I go live and I'll show you how to do the craft that we're building. This month, we're actually going to be making a tiered ladder. Have y'all seen those? I am about to have a fit to get one in my house. So we are going to bust out with some tier ladders this month in the inside scoop. And of course, I will be live and I'll be showing you how to make that. Now I'm just going to start stacking my ribbon, y'all. Just like that. So I'm super excited about that. We have some live Q&As in there. We've got Girls Night In in there where we all get together and we chit chat and we paint. We did that this past month, and y'all, that was super fun. We all enjoyed that. We all wanted more of it, so I'm giving them more of it. So we have another one scheduled for this month, and um, so y'all see how this is stacking up? Y'all see how thick it's getting? Oh, I just love it, y'all. I love it. I love a pretty thick bow, and let's see. I think I need a blue. Let's see if I have a little blue. Oh, man. Y'all, I don't got a, a uh, you got that one, but, I don't know. Uh, we're not going to go with it. All right, so see how thick that is? Yeah, I love it. The thicker, the better. I love a thick, full bow. Here in Mississippi at the Floral Boutique, working while watching. Yay, Jeffrey, congratulations. I hope you're having fun up there. Now we're just going to pull this through. And we're going to slip it out of there. We're going to pull this wire and make sure it's good and tight. When we separate our wire, we're going to make sure that we're pulling that as well. Um, are you catching any kind of deals out there? Getting some good prices on some beautiful, like, spring and summer florals. We're going to twist that really good. So since this is burlap, I'm actually going to get me some jute. And I'm going to tie jute in the center of it. Yeah, I want to talk about the inside scoop, but then I also want to, like, let you, like, tell y'all exactly what I'm doing. So, I like to start and tie mine off in the middle, but you know what? I do have my hot glue up. Got my hot glue going, um, because I've got an egg. i got an egg, y'all. think I'm going to add an egg to the center of this. Just because we can't be plain and simple, y'all. We've got to go all out. We've got to let, we want our door hangers to stand out from everybody else's. So when they see our bows and stuff, they're going to automatically know who made that bow. Then we're also, let me see, let's judge it for a second. Yep, we're also going to cut this off because we're going to staple it on there. All right, so now that looks so super, du super duper flat. We don't want to keep a flat boat, and this is the reason, ladies, this is the reason, my friends, I always say get you some ribbon that has wire in it. When you've got wire ribbon, you can fluff it, you can move it, you can, like, just maneuver it any kind of way you want, and if you've got a flat bow, you can, like, lift it up and just make it look like it's the fluffiest bow around. Good morning, Miss Pat from South Georgia. How are you? Hey, Miss Donna. Uh, let's see. Never seen ribbon done like this. Love it already. Yay, Miss Michelle. All right. We're going to fluff it out. We're going to make this bow come to life, y'all. So what I like to do, since I've got my florals on the back, I'm just going to kind of like pull it to the front, to the, you know, in the middle. Just kind of like just spread that floral out. The florals, they are wire. So you can kind of maneuver those to kind of go the way you want it to go. So I'm going to think I'm going to pull like a long piece on the top and then I'm going to pull like the longer piece on this side on the bottom just to kind of even it out some, I guess. Now with this wire ribbon, y'all, we're just going to spread them apart. I'm just going to pull them one to the top, one to the bottom, one to the top, one to the bottom. I don't want to leave that middle out because it'll get jealous. So we're going to make sure we're going to leave one in the middle. And we're just going to start spreading them just like that. We're going to make it full. And we're going to start fluffing it and making it real fluffy. And y'all look at that. You can sit there. If you're not going to add anything to the middle of this bow, 
you can fluff these out and keep on fluffing it like this but I think we're gonna add I think we're gonna add a cute little egg to the center of it just to spruce it up look how cute that is I wasn't gonna add an egg in the center I would have tied my knot with my jute in the front y'all and that would have just made it gave it a little bit more extra Oh, Miss Grace says, thanks for sharing, everyone. It really helps turn it out, and it really does. Thank you, Miss Sue. Um, it really helps any of us small businesses out that's on, online when you share, uh, when you sprinkle. All right, so I've got a, um, an egg here. I think i got too much pink going on, so I think I'm going to add this yellow egg to it, y'all. I think I'm going to add the yellow egg. I wonder... I love, love adding all kinds of stuff to my bows, y'all. It just, just makes me happy. It makes me happy. All right, I think I'm just going to add the yellow one. Let's put it up there on the, ooh. Oh, yeah. But you know what? I feel like I need something else on this bow. What else could I put on this bow? Raphael would have been beautiful on this bow. Um, you know what? So, yeah, I want some raffia, y'all. I'm going to. I'm going to cut that jute back off because I like to go all out with my stuff. Let me grab my raffia. Now give me just a second. I don't mean to disappear on you, but I'm coming. I'm coming. Give me just a minute. This is so... Not professional. But you know what? All right, here we go. Here we go. We got raffia. We're gonna add raffia to it just because it's gonna make it amazing. Amazing. All right, I've got it all crumbled up, so I'm just gonna pull it out, y'all. We're just gonna pull it out. I usually try to keep this stuff kind of together but not today all right so i'm gonna take my raffia and i'm gonna like start just kind of like making a bow with it and then i'm gonna put it in the center and then i'm gonna tie we're gonna tie some more jute so who on here is new and don't know what my inside scoop is about all right, so we're going to put that raffia there, then we're going to tie it on there with our jute. I'm using it right now, baby. We're going to tie it off. I'm going to kind of tie it on the bottom because I don't want that knot to be on the very back. So when I staple this down on my door hanger, it's not going to puff it up right there in the center. And it's going to have my bow laying a little bit more. It's going to have it laying flatter on my, my hanger. Let's see, we're going to trim that jute. We're going to trim it off. Miss Jacqueline's new. Good morning, Karen. Yep, just add greenery, greenery and an egg in the middle. All right, so here's our raffia. So it looks pretty crazy. So we're just going to kind of like do what you do with your hair. We're going to give a little haircut. I don't like them to be completely all one length and stuff. So I just kind of like sprig it out and just start cutting and not really paying attention to the length of it. And some shorter than the other, some's longer than some. If some's hanging down, that's okay. That makes it more beautiful, more amazing, more different. And now, my friends, my friends, friends, we're going to add. We're gonna add the egg in the center. I'm gonna add that egg just with some hot glue, y'all. Y'all look how stinking cute. Oh my goodness. All right. So the inside scoop, my friends, is a subscription group that I have and where I teach other creative ladies how to cut and paint their own wooden door hangers. We're putting a big old glob there and we're gonna bring it to the front just like this, so to get on that egg. Um, so I provide you, provide my ladies in there with two printable templates a month. I showed them how to cut them using a jigsaw, and I showed them how to paint them 
we do all kind of different techniques in there. We learn different things in there together. We have live Q&As to where y'all can ask me questions and stuff. We set goals. We have accountability groups. And we, y'all, seriously, I'm not saying this because it's my group. It is one stinking amazing group. I promise you. You have not seen a group like it yet. Because my ladies are just one of a kind. They really are. They're one of a kind. All right, y'all. So what do you think? Duh. See, I, I love that. Some people, that might drive some people crazy, that it's kind of like crazy and wild. But I love it just sprigging out and sticking out everywhere. So we got the greenery going on. We got the egg. We got the raffia. Now let's get the actual door hanger. But my inside scoop is $37 a month. You can join for six months and you can join for a year. With the year subscription, you will get two months free. Um, and I was like, so where's my things at? And for the six months subscription, you do get one month free. Um, you're not locked in. You can cancel anytime you get ready to cancel. Um, but I'm, I hope once you get in there, you will fall in love with what you, what all you're learning in there and all the, of the other ladies that's in there. Um, and I hope you decide to stay. Y'all can't even see what I'm doing. I'm, Y'all need to see this and not me, don't you? I'm going to be back live tonight. Um, <coughs> Y'all, I'm going to say about 7 or 8. I have been going at 6. I'm at 5. But it's Saturday, y'all, and we've got little kiddos that there's no telling what they want to wind up doing today and stuff and what time we'll be getting back, so... But I'm not going to leave y'all hanging. I will come back on here with y'all. We're going to get another bunny painted. I will post when I'm going to come live. Um, and give y'all at least at least a 30 minute heads up. So y'all can get ready in case you're out and about. And, and at home. Alright, so now we're going to determine. Um, the bunny door hanger in the background is over the top. Great job. Thank you so much. That's one that we painted. One day this week, and we made the bow yesterday, and we added the mesh tube ribbon. Love that stuff, love that stuff, love that stuff. But that is what I call my funky bows. Um, yeah, when I first got started making door hangers, y'all, I literally, every bow I made was bigger than my actual door hanger. <laughs> so if you would like to join my assistant, just posted a link in the comments. You can click that, and you can find out a whole lot more. Because I know I'm scatterbrained on here, y'all, by trying to teach you how to do this and actually talk to you about it. So this one's going to also go on its neck. Pretty much all of the bows is probably going to go towards the neck on this one just because of the shape of it. I don't really like bows up there on the very top like that, not with this rabbit. So we're going to kind of give it there. And y'all, look how stinking this. I love it. I love it. What do y'all think? Y'all think we, we did good or what? All right, we're skating it down again, y'all. We're going to attach this bow with a staple gun. And let me go ahead and unplug my hot glue gun while I'm smelling it. Because if not, then I will probably walk right out of here and leave it on. and might come back home to a burned down house. And we definitely don't want that. All right, so staple gun. We got quarter inch staplers in here. And a lot of times if you staple this through the quarter inch wood it's going to go through the back of your wood because this is not true quarter inch wood so you can either get you something and tape off a piece of cardboard so your staple stapler stapler staple goodness so your staple doesn't go completely through or when you're um doing a ribbon you can make sure that you're getting on top of your ribbon so that ribbon is going to catch it and it's not going to allow it to get all the way through your wood all right, so we're going to put this one here. Do we want it kind of slanted? Let's see. Let's work with it, y'all. Do we want it slanted? Do we want it straight? I think I'm going to slant it just a little bit. Yeah, we're going to slant it just a little bit. All right, y'all. Going to lift up that ribbon. Don't worry about it right now. We can come back and fluff it back out because guess what it is? It is wire ribbon, so we're not worried about it. Did not go through. We're good to go. We're going to staple it on, on this side too. Make sure it's good and secured. Ooh. 
There we go. We're going to do two. We're good to go there, too. Now we're going to turn it this way. And now we're just going to make sure that we're fluffing it and we're spreading that ribbon out because you don't want it all buckled. Bundled in one little spot. Spread it so you can see all of those different patterns and different colors, y'all. If you don't spread it and you keep them stacked on top of each other, you're kind of wasting your ribbon. You want to be able to see all of those patterns and all of those different colors and all of the textures that's going on with the different um, different kinds of ribbon. All right, y'all. What do y'all think? I hope y'all enjoyed this. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope you you see that you can add whatever you like. Pinks is back on YouTube. Hello. Your birdhouse looks great. Were you satisfied? All the best with this one. I was. I think I was very satisfied with the birdhouse. Um, I need to add a bow to that, too, but hadn't done it yet. All right, so, y'all, this is it. This camera has me so off. So, I love it. What do y'all think? Do y'all like the egg and the raffia and the greenery? But you see how thick it is? It's not just a flat, flat bow. Miss Marie, thank you so much. Thank you, Miss Diane. Miss Michelle says Selena, so great minds think alike, girlfriend. All right, so y'all, and the winner for this one was picked yesterday. Um, who was the winner yesterday, y'all? Let me just remember. Let me go look in the message. She messaged me. So before I hop off of here, do I have any questions about the inside scoop? And what all you get when you join the inside scoop? Let me see. Who was the winner yesterday? Miss Glenda was the winner yesterday. So this one's going to be headed to Miss Glenda. Miss Glenda, on um, probably Tuesday, because we're going to do a uh, like a reveal of all the bunnies that we painted through this um, the past the last couple of days. So yep, yeah, I love it, y'all. So we got this one, and then we. Oh, we've got this one. So if you had to pick, so far, which one's your favorite? Polka dots, faux shiplap. And then tell me if you like the, the fluffy, funky bows, or do you like the more the spiky bows with all of the cute embellishments on there? I actually don't know which one. I'm not sure which one I like the best, y'all, but I think I like both of them. But the thing with these is both of these door hangers were super easy and quick to paint. So shiplap, gorgeous. Thank you so much, both and both bows. <laughs> Miss Karen, you sound like me, girl. I just don't know. We'll be able to pick. That's hard. You love them both, Miss Marie. All right. Well, y'all, I'm going to get to let you get off of here so you can go on with your Saturday. Keep a lookout for... Um, a post from me later on telling you what time I'll be back on here because we have another bunny to paint. Same style. We're going to do another easy peasy technique on this one. And I think I'm seeing a black and white. We got to throw some black and white in there, y'all, because that's just my favorite thing. I love black and white. You love them both. Ship lab, but both are precious. All right, so y'all ladies have a fantastic Saturday, and I will see y'all later on this afternoon. Let's say about 7 or 8. So thanks so much, ladies, for joining. And thank y'all so much for sprinkling. I so appreciate y'all. You all. Goodness.